Hey guys, what's happening? It's Sam Game Davis here uh, with a preview copy of Spider-Man on the on the PS4. Uh, a sequel to Spider-Man Friend or Foe, Spider-Man PS4 is one swinging success. <laughs> and whilst I'd much rather talk about that game, I can confirm this is an unrivaled success. Game of the year, potentially. It uh, currently it's occupying a space with God of War, uh, Doctor Who, Top Trumps, and uh, uh, the other game I played this year. Begins with an O. Thank you again to Sony's sake of my preview. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, for my preview copy, almost no bugs. And now I'm here to say the exact same three lines as everybody else has already said. New York. As a uh, New York simulators go, this is top tier. Sometimes I forget I'm even playing a Spider-Man and just walk around the whole city on foot. It's just beautiful. I'm a pedestrian. I'm a citizen. If only that was a better means of transport. The subway system is locked, so deducting a star for that. As someone who has been to New York City myself, I can confirm this is an unrealistic representation. There is a lot more trash than this, and a lot more gang crime. Um, but for fans of crime, congrats, I have the game for you. Personally, as a lover and fighter of crimes, I really plowed a lot of hours into this aspect of the game. Why are my puddles low res? As a fun bonus feature, Spider-Man PS4 has a story. And it's at this part of the video, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, spoiler warning. Now, Snape kills Dumbledore. In this game, the story follows Pete, Pete Parker, uh, Spider-Boy, uh, where he battles a wave of crime, gang wars, political campaigns, and LGBT activism. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, progressive ally is Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud, he has radioactive blood. I hope you're ready to play as none of your fan favorites as we web swing up through a New York City unpopulated by other superheroes. They exist. We know they exist. Where are they all gone? <laughs> Rather than going into this much more pressing issue in the game or explaining what the fuck has happened to Lockjaw. Uh, yeah, someone trapped my dog in bronze. The plot still has a lot to offer. Of all your favourite villains, Kingpin, Green Goblin, Scorpion, Lizard, New Goblin, Hobgoblin, Protogoblin, Demogoblin. It's Spider-Man 3 times by 3. There are just that many villains in this game. It's with titles like this that you see just how far gaming has come. No longer is it the days of furiously mashing the A button with Pixel Boys. Now it's an immersive, explored world with all the iconic locations. Gwen's apartment, Ground Zero, Stark Tower, Mr. Aziz's pizza shop. <laughs> as far as the voice cast goes, I think I would personally make a much better Spider-Man Sony Sega. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I'm not even bitter, I failed the casting process. It was a botched audition. All I'm saying is the well of hot pretty British boys is gonna dry up eventually, Sony Sega. I'm not bitter! Anyway, the voice talent apart from that is very talented, including Alex Jones' great casting as J. Jonah Jameson. 3DS graphics never looked so good! But enough of all this haunty donty spider climbing ponty bullshit, you wanna know how it handles, how it plays, how it controls. And for this I can confirm, um... Oh. Let me read, let me get out the Sony message. <clears throat> Take to the skies as Spider-Man wall climbs and traverses his way through crime. It's um, it's basically Amazing Spider-Man on the PlayStation 3. Did no one want to talk about how good this game was? No? Oh, you sleeping on my boy Garfield, huh? Huh? Okay. All in all, uh, I play two games a year and this one was definitely one of them. Overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, too much water. I mean, it's New York. Have you seen... Have you seen the geography of this place? There's too much water. It's hard to get around, honestly. And for that reason, I give the city of New York a 9 out of 10. I'm making this video today because of, uh, money. But beyond that, because this game is a fully formed spectacle. Really just a, an example of how far we've come as a medium. Can someone please tell me how to unlock Tony Stark? I've been looking underneath the van for five days. But all in all, though this may be a technical masterpiece, the back of my mind is an itching, a craving, an unsatiable hunger that there is something missing. Something prevents this from being a perfect title. Something 
core to the Spider-Man mythos. Hey man, he stole that guy's pizza. Did I can't put my finger on it. Something's missing. If there's one thing I've learned from this review, it's um... I haven't played this game. I haven't even played this game. I don't own a PS4. It was a ruse! I rused you! I lied. I haven't played Spider-Man on the PS4, okay? But I'll tell you what I have played. Spider-Man, friend of foot. I'm a fake gamer girl.